Glenville, Ohio, a neighborhood synonymous with football, tar blooders, and Buckeyes. For Ball State's Jonathan Newsom, the hometown memories have never faded. When I was a little kid, man, we used to, I used to go outside. That was the main thing, just going outside, playing with my friends. So I said one day, uh, Mom, I want to play football. And uh, she knew somebody who was coaching and immediately she hooked it up. And from that day on, I was just naturally a football player. Glenville is a special place, man. You know, you know, you got the whole community behind you. And we are always underdogs, but we always had the best football players, too. Coach Ginn is like the kind of guys that he deals with, you know, and it's usually guys that aren't as fortunate as others. You know, he's just the most unselfish person I know. You know whatever Ginn say is almost Bible, like, you know, you, can, you know if you listen to Ginn, you, you're going to be on the right path, and uh, he definitely changed my life. I was a big fan of Ohio State, and coming from Glenville, all the best players always went to Ohio State, so I wanted, you know, Establish myself as the best player, and you know, the way to prove that is hey, I, I got this Ohio State offer too. I can go to Ohio State if I want to. It was kind of like a big celebrity experience, you know? Like, I was 18 years old in the club next to rap stars and you know, football, you know, big time football players and stuff. And it was like, you know, I'm 18, I really haven't done nothing. But these people treat me as if, you know, I'm, I'm the one out there throwing 20 touchdowns a game. And, and it was all because, you know, just the label. I was Ohio State Buckeye, so they, they just show love. Once you start having too much fun, you know, it's easy. You know, you see it in your grades. Your grades start dropping and attendance in class and just getting in trouble with little stuff, being late. And it was just, I was just digging myself in a hole, basically. And I had to get out, but the hole got too deep. So I made a move, I made a decision, and I lived with it. I need a ball state. I needed to be able to get Jonathan Newsom back on track. And that's exactly what happened, man. On the field, Jonathan has become a cornerstone of the ball state defense. But it's off the field where Jonathan never misses a beat. Man, I always loved music. Like, I remember being... I remember when I was a little kid, I used to, you know, don't nobody really know this, but I used to go to Cleveland Arts, Cleveland School of Arts, and uh, I used to want to act. It wasn't until I got this iPad Mini and I downloaded Garage Man. I just kind of taught myself how to make beats on it. It's kind of like a getaway sometimes, like when, whenever football gets stressful or whenever, like, you know, the pressure kind of builds up, you know. You feel, it's like I always put like a win or like a loss if we or if we doing bad. I always like feel like it's my fault. So, you know, music kind of just takes me away from that. Kind of just relaxes me. Kind of like you know, just bring me back to reality. Like you know, football is still is just a game. You know what I mean? You gotta understand like there's gonna be ups and downs just like within life. And I don't know, music just do that for me. Like I'm able to just go make a beat and then kind of kind of forget about football for a little bit. The ultimate music goal for Jay New is for Jay Z to just, just hit me up and like, like, just hit me up and get a beat and go crazy on it, man. And it kind of be like a generation thing. It kind of be like a Jay-Z, J. Cole, J. Go. Jonathan knows his life's journey and graduation from Ball State is another production worth sharing. Going across that stage would have mean like, I really overcame a lot, like really overcame a lot of obstacles. Man and beat a lot of odds. And just to, you know, just being young African-American, you know, man, like, you know, you don't normally see that every day. You know, statistically, I'm supposed to be dead or in jail. So, you know, it's an that's, that's, that's a big accomplishment, being able to get that degree and, you know, make my mama proud, man, because, you know, she, she did everything for us, man. It was me and my sister and my mom, so to be able to, you know, just had that accomplishment, man. That's something that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people in my family haven't done, except my mom. For Ball State Sportsland, I'm Tory Fox.